Hey y'all, it's Alex and welcome back to my channel. First off, here in this video, I'm going to be doing a three marker challenge. This is just because in the moment I wanted to make sure that I could make a Copic drawing really quick. And the colors that my random generator and my Excel sheet ended up picking out for me were colors that I never would have wanted to pick. They're, they're much lighter than I ever really go for. And we're just gonna kind of speed through the, um, the Copic part of this whole thing because we're gonna be testing out today whether or not these would be a good medium to use to cover over the backs of the pages when you have like that unsightly bleed through that you get with alcohol markers that you come to expect and you're like, this is kind of the sacrifice of having a good medium. You might as well just put up with it. And in this sketchbook, I have a piece where it's half done with Sharpie markers and half done with Posca pens. And on the back side of the paper, you only see the bleed from the Sharpie markers because obviously they're alcohol-based permanent markers. I didn't want to test that on the back of that paper just in case, so I decided to make this entirely different drawing that I'm not too fond of, to be honest. I, I don't know exactly why she has gigantic May from Overwatch shoes and also I would never pick these colors in a million years. It's, it's very light, and I kind of wish I would have been able to test out whether or not the Posca pens could cover over some really dark colors. I almost considered picking again, but I, I just felt like it would be really dishonest of me. Now, moving on to the back side of the paper. There's a good amount of bleed from the green, especially where I laid in shadows. And it's a little hard to see your sketch over top of it, which that is my main complaint, but that isn't exactly something that my 3H pencil can handle. I tend to use a very hard pencil because otherwise I draw too dark and then it never erases again. Of course, I have problems erasing with the 2H pencil, but I mean, that's just because I draw hard. That's what she said. Anywho, I don't know why, again, with this character design, I just kinda, time to draw a witch. I I've been doing a lot of mythical and fantasy themes with my Posca pens. I'm gonna, next time I use my Posca pens, I'm gonna have to do like some sci-fi character. And just to be sure that I didn't shake my um, my tripod arm with the uh, vigorous shaking and um, pressing you have to do with Posca pens, I put my camera back in my above tripod. So I, I wish I would have been able to do some of the cool angle shots with the Posca pens. However, I thought that it might be a little much. So on this first layer for the orange, it was a little hard to get it to be opaque over top of the bleed. The yellow covered on the second layer, so I gave the orange a second layer as well. That did tear up the paper a little bit, however, it's, it's kind of worth it. In the process of coloring this piece, I kind of wish I would have switched over to the Malto marker that I have for the skin. It's more of a powdery blue, and I feel like the electric light blue skin is a little bit much, but I'll live with it. I wanted to stay completely on the brand of Posca pens for this video. Right before this video, I caved and actually bought myself a red Posca pen, and I'm actually very glad because if I hadn't had that, it would have been very difficult to be able to accomplish this piece. The darker colors especially cover over the, um, cover over the bleed from the opposite side. In the future, I'm going to do a secondary test to determine whether or not the Posca pens can still cover over a darker Copic bleed. While these did cover, it was a little hard to, um, it was a little hard to layer up enough to be able to. My one big mistake was trying to do, um, white, trying to use my white Posca pen to be able to cover over some of the spots of bleed. I just gave up at some point because my pen just didn't like me. 
I've had to do this for a little while now. With my little white Posca pen, I've had to use it as kind of like a dip marker. I'll have to push out a whole bunch of ink and then I'll have to dip the nib back into it. So up close, you do kind of see in the white some of the bleed through, but that's because I didn't want to push it on my marker. I didn't want to destroy the one white marker that I have that works right now. In comparison between looking at just the line art with the bleed and the finished piece, I say that it's, it's a phenomenal difference. This is definitely a really good option for covering over Copic bleed in your sketchbooks. I don't know how differently it would handle on, like, say, Strathmore drawing paper. However, if you are using an Illo sketchbook or a sketchbook with similarly textured paper, I say go for it. But um, if you guys end up testing this out for yourselves, I'd love to see your results. You should link me to your work down in the comment section below. And um, I think I'm gonna start doing this every every video now, but how are you guys? You should just drop a line, say hi. Drop a line is such a 90s saying, but okay. Anyhow, if you'd feel so inclined, hit that subscribe button and check me out on my other social media handles. Thanks, and I'll see y'all in the next one.